Hello and welcome to season three. In this season, we are going to get started with our CSS course. I hope you like this season. I'm going to do all my best to put all the videos together so that you can learn CSS as soon as possible and as easy as possible. Now we're gonna get started today with chapter one and it's gonna be the introduction to CSS. But before we get started, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And if you like this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so to get started with uh, CSS, we're going to be using the same resource we've been using so far, which is w3schools.com. You're gonna go to w3schools.com and you're gonna click where it says learn CSS, okay? When you do that, then you're going to be able to see the home introduction section, the syntax, the letters, all the content for CSS. As you see, it's quite long, but I assure you that it's super easy to use. So I'm going to be teaching you how to do that, okay? So the first thing we wanna to do to get started with CSS is show you how you can add your CSS code in your HTML code. Uh, of course, to learn CSS, I am guessing that you already have a little bit of HTML knowledge. If you don't, you can also visit my video, which is um, season two, an HTML course that is going to show you how to use HTML. Anyways, uh, let's go ahead and get started with CSS. So what we're gonna do first is create a folder for CSS, okay? So we're gonna hit new folder and we're gonna name this CSS course. Okay. Once you have your folder created, we're going to get into it. Inside of the folder, we want to create, uh, first of all, an HTML document because we need an HTML code to uh, see how our CSS code is going to react to it. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm gonna create um, a file, an HTML file in it. Now I'm not going to do this here. We're going to be using Visual Studio Code for this. So let's go ahead and open that up. Visual Studio Code, okay. And now that we are here in Visual Studio Code, we're gonna hit open folder and you're gonna go ahead and open the folder that we just created, which is called CSS course, okay? So we're gonna select this folder and now we are inside of that folder. So what we're gonna do is create, first of all, an index.html, oops, HTML file. So we can create anything that we want here with HTML. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so, so to do this, Faster, we're just going to do an exclamation sign and we're just simply going to select um, uh, the tab. We're go and then we're gonna hit tab and that's how you're going to see all the this displayed already. Okay, this is just a regular HTML template. And what we wanna do is, um, let's call this CSS page CSS page. Um, well, let's just not confuse ourselves. So let's just name it something else like welcome page. <laughs> okay. And what we're going to do here is include in the body section, a quick, um, a quick header and let's name this. This is our first CSS site. And we're going to add a quick paragraph here and we're going to add some random information in there okay so we're going to save this information and what we want to do is make sure that this code is working so i'm going to open the web page and yes there you go this is our, our this is our first css site and it has the paragraph that we just created to it okay so what is css let's go ahead and get started by knowing that okay we have already the folder in which we're going to be working in ready um, with uh, an HTML document inside of it. But what is really CSS and how do we use CSS with HTML? Why is this so important? Um, okay, so let's go back to CSS um, to w3schools.com. So in w3schools uh, here, you have an example in how you use um, CSS. But the first thing that we wanna know is what is it and what do we use it for? So CSS stands for Cascading Style Sheets. Okay, so 
this describes how the HTML um, uh, elements are displayed to a screen, a paper, or in other medias. It saves a lot of work. It can control layout of multiple web pages all at once. And the external style sheets are stored in what we call CSS files. So in other words, what is all this, right? So a cascading style sheet, which is CSS, it's what is going to make your website look pretty. <laughs> That's it, in other words. It's gonna give your website the colors, it's gonna give your website um, all that good information that is going to tell it, um, that is gonna tell your website how how certain elements are displayed, like um, what type of styling they're gonna have. That's why it's called CSS. So in other words, just keep that in mind. CSS is just to simply add colors and make your website look pretty. That's the reason why we use it most importantly okay so there are a couple of ways that you can add um, your css code into your website in order for you to learn how to add css into your document just go here to the tutorial uh, to the website where it says how to okay and here you will have three ways in how to add your css code the first one is an external css the second one is internal CSS, and the third one is inline CSS. So we're gonna take a look into each one of them. So external CSS is when you create a style sheet, a separate CSS style sheet, and then you add your code into that style sheet and you link that style sheet with your HTML code. Okay, so how do you do that? Okay, so first of all, to do the external CSS, you have to use the link element which is this one right here, into your head section for HTML. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just create my CSS file. So I'm gonna go back to Visual Studio Code. As you can see inside of the folder that we created, right now we only have index.html. So what I'm gonna do now is create the CSS sheet. Very simple, the way to do this is just add a new file in CSS, right? And we are going to name it style.css. And that's how you are creating a new sheet, which is for CSS. I'm gonna hit enter. And there you go, now you have a style sheet. Now, it says here this document that you have to link this in order for your code to work, right? So how do you link your, your sheets, okay? Well, first of all, um, what we have to do is use the link element. So we're gonna use the link element in here right and as you can see here on w3 schools it says that you have to use the rel attribute okay so now we're going to go ahead and do that and we're going to say that this is a style sheet right and we're going to add the href the href as you probably know already in html it's the reference in what web page or what file we're linking into our html document so this one will be my uh well it's actually not my style it's actually just style.css because that's how we named it here so style.css okay perfect so now we're going to close this and we're going to hit save now if you refresh your website nothing is happening because of course our style sheet in here is totally blank so of course you're not gonna see any changes right now if you want to see changes let's go ahead and, and just use some CSS syntax okay um, let's go ahead and, and change the background of our screen to light blue as it says here and we're gonna change the color of our h1 to navy and we're gonna give it a margin of 20 pixels I'm not going to get into this type of details right now with you because right now I'm just showing you how to in, I'm just showing you how to add your CSS code okay we're going I'm going to get a little bit deeper into this later on so I'm just gonna copy all this information and I'm gonna paste it on my style sheet okay and now what I'm gonna do is hit save and I'm gonna hit also save on my HTML document now let's go ahead and go back to our welcome page you're gonna see what's gonna happen now so I'm gonna hit refresh and boom, you see, our background screen is now changed and our paragraph section is also changed because we have added some style 
into our document. We have coded that the background color should be light blue and the H1 should be color navy with a margin of 20 pixels, which uh, pretty much moved uh, our, uh, our, our H1 just a little bit to the right. Okay, so this is what you can do with CSS. And this is the first way that you can add your CSS code into your HTML site. Now, if you do not add this link element, whatever you put here, it's not gonna work. So let me go ahead and show you that. Let's say that I forgot to add the link, right? I'm gonna save this. Let's go back to our HTML code and I'm gonna hit refresh it goes back to normal, as you can see. So very important, make sure that whenever you are using a separate style sheet, you are linking that into your HTML code. Okay, so I'm gonna hit save, we're gonna refresh again, and there you go. We have linked this successful. So that's way number one to add your CSS code. Now let's check out the second option that you have to include your CSS code into your HTML site. So I'm gonna erase here the link that we just added. And for now, I'm going to close the style, um, that CSS that we have there. So I, I just closed that out. I'm gonna save this information and I'm gonna hit refresh. So we're going back to the regular HTML site we had before. What we're gonna do now, it's very simple. We're, gonna, we're going to go ahead and we're going to go back to W3Schools, okay? And what we wanna do here is check the second option which it says that it's internal CSS. So what does internal CSS means? I'm going to show you that right now. So internal CSS, it may be used in a single HTML page, meaning that you do not have to create a style.css. So let's go ahead and go back to our folder. I'm going to take this style and I'm going to delete it, okay? So you don't need that file in order to add your CSS code here with internal CSS. How do you add then your CSS code? Well, let's go ahead and take a look at this. You're going to add a style element inside of your HTML code section. And uh, this is gonna be on the head section, by the way. And then you're going to add everything that you want to input into your site in here. Okay, so as an example here, the body is saying uh, you add style and then you say to the body that you wanted the background color to be whatever type of color and then your h1 colors whatever type of uh, style you want to give it so we're going to go ahead and do that we're going to add a style here i erased the link as you saw before and we're going to add a style okay so inside of this style it says here that we want to color our body section so we're going to put here body right and um, our body section we want this to have a background color um, it says linen, but I'm not going to use that color. Actually, let's just use black. Well, actually, let's use, um, I don't know, uh, purple. Yeah, sure, purple, why not? <laughs> okay, so our body is gonna be purple now. As you can see, I'm adding this in the same HTML document. I'm not creating a separate file for this. So I'm gonna hit save. And let's go back to our code here in our welcome page. I'm gonna hit refresh and boom, there you go. Now your background color is purple. As simple as that, you can add your code into the same HTML document without creating an external document. Okay, that's the second way you can add your CSS code. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the third way to do it. So let's erase the style that we just created here. I'm gonna hit save. Our site is gonna go back to normal. And what we're gonna do now is um, check out and see exactly how to do the third way. Now the third way here is inline CSS. So it's not external, it's not internal that you're going to add something in your head section, um, it's inline, okay? And as it says here, inline, what does that mean? Well, it may be used to apply a unique style for a single element. To use inline styles, you have to add the attribute to the relevant element. Okay, so to use inline CSS is very simple. What you have to do is just simply input whatever style you wanna to give to certain element into that same element. 
So let's take a look at that right now. Let's say that we want to color the body section in purple again. So very simple. What you're gonna do is go back here. Let's say this is the body element. So what we're gonna say to this element is that we wanna style it and we wanna give it a background color of purple again, okay? That's going to turn your background color to purple. As simple as that, just by adding the style in line the element. Okay, so let's hit save here and let's go back to our welcome page. I'm gonna hit refresh and there you go. Now the background color, it's purple again. That's as simple as you do it, okay? There is not much um, into it. So that's what we call inline CSS. You can even change the, um, the, the header, like this person right here. If we want to add an inline style, we can also say style, change um, the font size to um, let's do larger, okay? And let's hit save. And now when we refresh, oh well, it actually make, made it smaller. Let's try another attribute. Um, let's say that I want to style this and I want to add, let's change, let's just change the color. Okay, so let's change the color to red. Sure, why not red, right? Okay, so let's hit save and I'm going to hit refresh. And there you go. So now this is our first CSS side. It's colored in red. And we did that with inline CSS. So you have three ways to add your CSS code. Each one of them works. Now the one that I like the most is to do external CSS because that way you can control all the elements easier and your code looks a lot clean. So it's up to you which method you're going to be using. In this course, however, I am going to be using external CSS to teach you what to do with it and everything. So up to you which one you want to add. Okay, so that's it for this tutorial, everyone. I hope that you enjoy it. And now you know what is CSS, and now you know three ways to add CSS into your code. In the next chapter, I'm going to be talking to you about what type of code you can write with CSS, the syntax, and more details. So if you want to keep on taking a look at um, new videos for CSS, please make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't uh, done it yet. And if you like this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up as well. If you have any questions, don't forget, you can leave them in the comment section below. I'll be more than happy to answer those for you as soon as I can. Okay. So that's it for this tutorial today, everyone. I hope you enjoyed it. And once again, don't forget that you can always ask Lixie. Bye everyone. And see you again in the next episode.